Friends, I think this is going to be our last trip to the garden center for their closeout sale. They've gone ahead and marked everything down to 75% off. So some things that we needed and a few that we probably could have done without for a while, we went ahead and bought. Uh, we have a uh, fairly modern house. And it has a uh, water purification system inside or water softening system, I guess you would call it. So we got some more uh, salt. We got some diatomaceous earth bags that we use for our pets and the chicken and for the plants a little bit. Just a whole bunch of stuff. We actually got more of the wool pellets too. We are. I almost cleaned them out, but I said, nope, leave some stuff for other people, even though I don't know how many people actually buy those for what we use them for, but yeah, just a really kind of somber mood in the store. People are happy to, you know, help out the store. Everybody's sad to see it going out of business. I mean, just 90 years, you know, family business, but we got a bunch of stuff and uh, I think what I'll do at the end, I'll just uh, maybe highlight a few of them and just do uh, subtitles with them instead of going through all of it. Some of it you've already seen what we've got, but uh, yeah, we've got plans for some things. I bought some uh, flooring material, uh, subfloor material that you could use for, you know, patio floor, or, you know, I guess uh, interior floors and uh, we're going to use that since it's such a cheap price it actually came out to be less expensive than buying rolls of uh, weed fabric we're going to do some of our areas that we do the grow pots or other things like that on and we're going to use that to serve as a mulch up underneath uh, to help you know prevent the weeding and things like that so we'll come back and we'll show you guys uh, some of what we got and what we plan to do with it and why is this guy on a moped broke down stopping traffic you just wonder you just wonder uh, him and his cigarette so. <laughs> all right nothing against mopeds but if you're gonna be on the street try to have one that works or maybe you ran out of gas i don't know so, a couple of errands for me to run and get home, work in the garden, garden, fill up some grow bags. So, take care. Till later. Alright. Just dropped off some seeds in the mail to some of our friends at the post office. And this is one of those super rare occasions we dropped off a bunch but didn't get anything in the mail. So going home empty-handed other than what we got at the sale at the garden center but that's okay it's always better to give than to receive especially when you've been blessed uh, in abundance as we have with seeds from friends like uh, Colin, Colleen and Dan and Danny and Danny and Wanda and you know, all our other friends on Facebook and YouTube. So now I'm going to run to one of my favorite destinations, the local comic book and game shop. Get some stuff for me and the boys, and I also got to get some uh, some uh, treatment for our sapper pup Maggie. So. One thing, if you have pets, especially if you have female dogs, you have to be careful with them, just like with humans, you know, different illnesses and whatnot. So we're going to be uh, as preventative as possible because we know uh, female dogs are more prone to uh, UTIs. So we're going to make sure that our pet 
get some probiotics and prebiotics to help keep her system healthy. So I'm going to make one quick stop to get that and then I'm going home and uh, commence the weeding. So zap her out. So we got a little ahead of ourselves. I intended to uh, kind of talk about everything as we took it off the truck, but we were in too busy, too big of a hurry to do that. But we got a bunch more of the wool pellets. We do uh, a lot of pots. So these were uh, 250 each, where normally they're 1099. So we bought most of what they had. The Ecologic wasn't part of it, and we already had this. But we got some uh, water softener for our house. We actually got six bags of this. And uh, these things, that they, they last a while. Our uh, tank holds, I think, five bags. So six bags will last us a year plus. And we got, a, of course, we got some mold scram down here. And we got another scarecrow so both the boys can have their own scarecrow to decorate. And we got a bunch more uh, rock phosphate, cat meal. Uh, we got a little bit of everything. So we got stuff to last us a while. And we have used these before. These are supposed to reflect the red light back onto your tomato plants, but you can also use it as a mulch in the bed. So we're going to use this. And we just got a bunch of stuff. So a bunch of pots and whatnot. And Mrs. SG has already taken the pads. Let me show you the pads we were talking about real quick. A bunch of these small pots for less than a dollar. And uh, we can always use more pots. So these are the black pads that are used for subflooring. Uh, you can also use them in the garage for things like that. They call them oh, gator base. So if you're doing patios or things like that, you sit these down. Um, that way you can kind of make yourself a nice flat surface. Uh, you can use them in greenhouses. So a lot of different uses for these. And uh, we got them for uh, two fifty dollars each, and usually they're eight, nine, ten dollars $10 each. So we could not pass these up. So we're going to use these to make a new uh, garden area, and we'll bring you guys back and show you when we get that done. And, of course, we don't want to offend our friends on either side of the peat moss debate. But when you can get peat moss at 75% off, this is usually $11, $12, however much it is. But when you can get it for three or four dollars, just as a bulk volume additive to the garden, we couldn't pass this up. And we're not pro peat moss, anti peat moss, pro cocoa core, anti cocoa core. We just use what we can. You know, you have to save money where you can, especially when you're gardening and uh, make the most of what you have. So. Sorry if this video was a little bit longer than usual, but yeah, when you can find a sale, take advantage of it. And uh, you know, especially when you can help an old family owned business that's going under, you know, clear out their inventory. So as always, this is Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essayance Family Garden. God bless our great country, America. You, wherever you are around the world, your garden, your harvest your kitchen your meals your family with health success and prosperity take care everyone Bye. sap her out <laughs>